Love entertainment. Love news. Love randomness. This is Galaxy. The following program is rated 13. Here we go! Serving the universe! Hello again. We start off the episode with some terrible news from our podcast network. Giff Chatterley, the presenter of Chuckcast, was tragically killed under the orders of BJ Adventure Vlog. We don't know why he did it. It was an act of pure evil and pure provocation. So in this episode, we're going to talk all about that. And now, continue your Wednesday with entertainment, humour, craziness, and more. This is Boomerang Days, with Hal, Sprig, Vanna, and Mordecai. And here we are. It's Wednesday again, and you probably already guessed what that means. Oh, and can anyone in the production control room please stop playing Azariah songs while at work? Thank you. Now, as I said in the cold opening, there is some terrible news to deliver. Well, what are you waiting for? What's happened? Um, I do effer. Okay, look. I know it's really tough to say this, but... Kif Chatterley is dead. <gasps> oh my god! Wait, what? Kif is dead? Unfortunately, she is. I didn't heard anything else about that in full detail, but all I know was that she was killed by one of BJ Adventure Vlog's sock puppets, Orange Fiona. I'm... I'm just shocked. Why don't she do this? That is just... Th well... God! That is just sick. BJ Adventure Vlog would never do that to anyone. Why would he do this? First it was Anne, but now Kiff. What if BJ Adventure Vlog makes an actual threat to D4PTV or TE 1994? Or even worse. It's not going to happen. But, let's face it. You heard what Tootie said on Discord. This BJ Adventure Vlog situation is getting pointless. And if we continue to talk about it, it's only going to make it worse. No offense. Then, what is the point? He'll only continue pestering Norman and Ramon and continue with the whole sock puppeting. If we ignore his sock puppets, they're going to kill all of us and BJ Adventure Vlog will destroy G4P Studios entirely. That's ridiculous. Look, just ignore BJ Adventure Vlog in a way. The police are already investigating against him. I'm sure whoever did this will be locked up. Well, I guess you're right. Let's just try to ignore BJ Adventure Vlog and focus on what happened with Kif. God, sorry. I'm trying to find my words. But anyway, today is the Minecraft Elimination Zone semi-final, as we will be finding out who will make it to Friday's finale. And let me tell you, this season's finale will be insane. Oh boy. I wonder who's going to be in the finale. Let's hope Rayford will be in the finale! Or maybe it's Bethy! Or even Alfred Soprano. Alfred Soprano? You woke up this morning, got yourself a gun. You woke up this morning, got yourself a gun. You woke up this morning, got yourself a gun. Luli. Do we really have to bring up a sense of Fujitsu humor while everyone else is mourning for Kiff? Sorry, Sprig. But anyway, here is some really strange crap I found on the internet. I don't think Chuckcast ever talked about this yet, but there is an 11-year-old kid who had to go to school and get this. He had to wear a diaper all day. <laughs> what? A child with a diaper? This doesn't make any sense. Well, what kind of child would have to wear nappies? They're not babies! The mother probably had to do that because the kid accidentally smashed her windshield. Like si What the hell is this? Huh? You're just gonna laugh and not even care that I successfully killed the rat? Oh my god, that's her. Kif's killer. What are you doing here? Haven't you put us through enough? Get out before I call the po- No, you won't. You're not calling the cops, do you understand? You need to start talking right now, and don't even try ignoring me. In your dreams? Fiona, we're just gonna ignore you- I said don't ignore me, you little- now listen, make Microsoft Sam apologize to God Almighty. Well, I'm waiting for a response. Are you going to make him apologize to God or what? Listen, Sam already did that when he stopped being a control freak. Lar, 
I didn't see it properly. Get some in God in here for the apology. Now. Now, just a minute. What about Kif? You did this to her. You killed her. Yes, so what? She had it coming for being friends with the FBI. She has made a mistake. Why did you do that? Kif was a good person. She was never meant to hurt anyone. That is disgusting. It's not disgusting, it's justice. No, it wasn't. BJ Adventure Vlog never threatened people like that or do those things. Mm. What you did to Kif was ruthless. I mean, what kind of human being are you? If she hadn't twisted her head into this FBI business, none of this wouldn't happen. This is all your fault. Our fault? Do you think we're to blame for Kif's death? You killed her. That's all it is to it. Wasn't that enough? I'm not an idiot, Hal. I did what BJ Adventure Vlog told me to do. Now meet my demons, and that is an order. Actually, you know what? We're not going to listen to your stupid demands anymore. Hmm. And do you know why? Because you are a murderer. You are a disgrace, just like BJ Adventure Vlog. He is a mobster, a criminal, and a sick human being. Don't you ever talk to him like that or you're gone. Please, please, sir, you are. Armed police, get on the ground. Police, get on the ground and down to your knees. Back off. Clear off right now or everyone else will die. I am not leaving until all the demons are met. What are your demands? Bring Sonic Rose and Amy Rose back to the TEG 1994 universe and don't make me demon another one. There is no way in hell we would ever listen to you, Orange Fiona. We are listening to what Tootie said. Hmm. She said that we have to ignore BJ Adventure Vlog or the situation will get much worse. Why are you defending her? I don't give a toss what she said. She is a bitch. Hey, don't you ever call her that. Hmm. She is a good person. She knows what is going on and she knows how much she cares about us and Norman and Alex and all the others. He's right, Fiona. We need to negotiate about this loud and clear. What else do you want? All I want is to cancel the G4PTV's power cut maintenance immediately. Oh my god, how many times do we have to say it? The power cut maintenance was already over. It happened four weeks ago. Don't you get it? Now just shut up and get the hint. We just arrested BJ Adventure Vlog for masterminding the murder, and now he's lying in a maximum security prison. Now there's no way how his sock puppets will ever break him out. You heard him, Fiona! There is nothing you can do about it. It's over. Nothing is far from over, Vanna. Nothing. I'm all finished with Kith. Now, I want you to get Molly McGee and tell her to come in here. What the hell for? If you even dare try to hurt her, I'll have those boys shoot you up. There is to be justice for X. There is to be justice just so BJ Adventure Vlog could use his plots to destroy all of Minecraftia. Too late. He was already arrested and you will not get away with it. Fine. You know what? I'm all done with this bullshit. She's got a gun. Now you're going to prison for a long time, Fiona. Move it. I'm... Wow, I can't believe what I just witnessed. So that's it. Right, is it over? Did they catch that notorious sock pepper? Looks like it. But it's all right, everyone. Don't panic. It's all over now. BJ Adventure Vlog is back in prison now. And this time it's for good. Orange Fiona is included too, so we can all agree with what Tootie said. We should all just ignore BG Adventure Vlog and not listen to him. If his sock puppets do make more community posts and demand us for stupid reasons, we don't care. We'll still ignore them anyway. But yeah, we got a happy ending and we managed to get Kif justice. But anyway, that is all for today and we will be back here next week with a new episode. So now that's out of the way, we may now move on with the semi-final of Minecraft Elimination Zone Season 4. YP. So, see you soon guys. Goodbye. <laughs>
Radio is part of G4P Studios, and all content belongs to their respective owners. All rights reserved.